So we've got a three bedroomed semi-detached house here on Poplar Avenue and you're in for the treat with this one. So we've got a drop curb here for obviously off-street parking, got a drive here, got a garage. As you can see, you've got a patterned concrete drive. I would say you'd get about two or three vehicles on here. And as anybody knows the area, we can't say it's a good area, but what we can say, it's extremely popular. Trading stands, that stops us from saying an area is good or bad, but what we can say, what we can do is say it's very, very popular and everybody knows the area will agree with that. Fantastic. So I went into this hallway here, got wood flooring. I'm trying to avoid this ugly guy here in the mirror. We don't want to see him. We've come to see this beautiful house. Fantastic hallway. Obviously, you've got the glazed door here. Glass, double glazed window there for natural light. And you're in for a treat with this one. So we're spinning in. Again, got wood flooring, bay window. Got a beautiful log burner there. And I'm just going to spin around, show you this room. Obviously got coving, got the ceiling there, ceiling rows. Absolutely beautiful. There's always some hidden gems on these streets and when you get inside them, you just look at them and you think, yeah, I'd live there myself and I certainly would do. We're heading into the diner. Um, it's a bit toasty in here. As you can see, we've got the living flame fire there. Got the log burner obviously in the lounge. But again, ceiling rows, obviously the original coven, beautiful original features. Absolutely beautiful. There we are. Stunning. Just imagine this on a winter's night, can't you, with your friends, family. Beautiful. We're heading now through these double glazed well, they're not the single glaze, sorry, but the wood, single glaze wood. And this is the garden room, sunroom. Again, beautiful, natural light, just coming straight in. I'm gonna spin it around, just for you to get the size of this. Obviously it's on the dimension, so you'll see that, but I mean, it's just an absolute beautiful room. You've obviously got the two skylight windows there, you know, again, family reception room, stunning. So you're straight from the diner into here. It's got a fantastic walk through this. And then we are heading out into either Spring or Gibraltar, depending on which one you want to see. But I'm telling you something now, that is just absolutely stunning. Beautiful weather. Obviously this is um, not Spain or Gibraltar, but it feels like it. So you can just imagine ladies having a G&T here, glass of wine. Outside dining, al fresco with the family, friends. As you can see, we've got a decked area. Seating area. I mean, this really is an area for outside dining, enjoying time with your friends and family. And a G&T or a glass of wine doesn't harm at the same time, does it? It's a rear door from the garage there. And spin this around, beautiful. So we're heading back through here and we're gonna be heading through into the kitchen. Kitchen, as you can see, you've got an island here with the hob, got the oven there, beautiful. Obviously you get your cooking done and another reception garden room, head in the diner. But I think with this well, I think most people would probably spend time outside. But again, that natural light just shines through into this. It's a really, really nice space. So we're now gonna be heading back into the hallway, which obviously has the original features. I just, you know, I know it's a hallway, but it, it's a, an impressive hallway, it's fantastic. Beautiful. So we're heading up the stairs to the first floor. And you've obviously got a window there for natural light. Again, some of the original features, dado rail. And I'm gonna take your left. 
This is the third bedroom. And as you can see, it's a really, really good size double. Spin it around, Got the cupboard there over the stairs. My size double. We're heading out. I'm gonna try and avoid that ugly guy again because we've got some glazed sliding door wardrobes here. I haven't broken my yet, but there we are. Nice, really nice size double. Nice to the front. I'm just gonna spin it round again. Beautiful. That's a good thing about this house. There's no such thing as a box room. They're all doubles or large doubles. So we're heading out and we're heading into bedroom number two, which as you will see, again, we've got a mirror there, so avoid him. And this lies to the rear. As you can see, the skylights in the garden room there, sunroom. And I'm just going to spin this round again. So you can see, again, a really good sized double. You've obviously got a cupboard there. Beautiful. Heading back out. And we're turning left into the bathroom. As you can see, we've got a freestanding bath there. It's tiled again, got wood flooring. Got a Victorian style radiator there on the wall. Ceiling cladding with spotlights. Got a sink with storage. And as you can see, you've got a nice walk-in shower there with an electric shower above. Tiling's beautiful. Nice room, really nice room. Beautiful. And we're heading out. And as you will see, we have a separate WC, which has got the same tailing as the bathroom, as you can see there. Same wood flooring. So basically, when you are having a nice glass of wine in there, and anybody does need to disturb you, then they can't because it will be in here which is the added benefit. You can just actually have that bath and just relax. So a lovely, lovely layout as well as downstairs. And I'm just gonna spin around and let you have a look at this beautiful landing. Stunning.